Start with hand hygiene and introduce yourself. Confirm the identity of the patient, explain the examination and gain consent to perform it. Initially, take a few seconds to observe both eyes at the same time. Look at the periorbita, eyelids and eyes, commenting on any swelling, redness and discharge, as well as prominence of the eyes or abnormal eyelid position. Then perform a magnified examination using the arc light. Switch on the white light and hold the device close to your eye. Slowly approach the patient's right eye first until it is in focus. This will be at around 6 cm. Ask the patient to move their eye outwards and inwards, then up and down, while gently holding their eyelids, systematically noting the different structures seen, thinking of them in groups. The first group includes the upper and lower eyelashes and lid margins. The second includes the conjunctiva and sclera and the lower fornix. The third group is the cornea, the junction of this with the sclera called the limbus, and the pupil, surrounded by the iris. Once you've finished noting all these structures, move on to assessing the anterior chamber depth. The anterior chamber is the space between the cornea and the iris. By shining the light from the temporal side, the depth of the anterior chamber can be assessed. A shadow on the nasal iris can suggest a shallow anterior chamber. This is a normal examination with no shadow. Now select the blue light on the arc light. With fluorescein dye, the tear film, areas of epithelial loss and disease will be highlighted. The dye fluoresces brightly with the blue light. Record in a diagram the site and size of areas of epithelial loss and disease. Finish by examining the superior tarsal plate. Place a cotton bud on the upper lid. Then gently lift the lashes upwards while slowly pressing downwards with the bud. Initially observe with the naked eye, then bring in the arc light for a magnified view. Repeat this examination on the other eye. Afterwards, thank the patient, summarise and record your findings and repeat hand hygiene.